just like your name implies, you came into this world with radiating beauty. My prince, you're flattering me. Uh, no, you already know I'm not known for flattery. That beauty radiates like the sun and of all the maidens in this kingdom, you are the one I found love in. My prince, your words melt my soul. But who am I? Who am I? No one. Do I fit to walk in your royal shoes? Abiyamanamma. My prince. You know very soon I will be crowned king as my father's funeral rites has just been concluded. I know my prince. May the soul of our king continue to rest in peace. He say, the elders in council are already making plans. And they all want me to get married before the coronation. My prince, I have a lot to consider. A whole lot. Prince of my land, I greet you. Greetings, Ifemo, a daughter of Ufele, the one with the eyes of the ego, the one who sees even in the darkest place. Ifemo, how are you? I'm well, my friend. I was on my way to your house, but I can see you have a good friends. Um, well, I, I think I should leave you two now, so you can catch up. Um, I'll see you some other time. Thank you, my friends. Um, one more thing. Please, remember our conversation and answer the word glad in my heart. Let's go to my house. You're back. Welcome. Is this you're going out? Yes, so I want to see my friend uh, Uche. You know that I'm on break. Eh? I need to see everybody that I can see. I'll be back soon. Yeah? Take care. Oh, Avina, you did not see me. Sorry, Femo. I just want to go out. It's okay. All right. Take care. I'll be back. Be safe. All right. Be safe, oh, Obina. All right. I've heard you. You better still harbors this resentment for me. Mm -mm. I don't think he resents you. Just that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There is no need covering up for him. I understand he's um, working hard. He's trying to be a priest. So he sees me as evil. Please, do not take all of that to heart. Of course I won't. <laughs> Let mm. me get you something to eat. Right? Sit first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It would really be nice to have her by my side as the queen of this great kingdom. Obialonamma is the one my heart seeks, the one in whom I feel complete. But I am not sure of her love. I am not sure she wants me as I want her. How do I go about this? Okay, I will shower her with more gifts. Maybe 
that will melt her heart. I want to ask you, is your heart with the prince? I really do love the prince. I ask again, if your heart is with the prince, I did not ask if you love the prince. If he more, I do not know. I don't know. He asked me to be his wife. He's about to be crowned and he needs a wife. But... <sighs> do you think you're the one for him? Or is he the one for you? If he more. I need to put a lot of things into consideration before taking that big step. My only brother is about becoming a priest in the church. And if he does that, he automatically becomes a child of the church. And my father's compound will remain without a son. Oh, this is a very dicey one. A very worrisome one. I, I, I really do not know what to do. If I get married to the prince and my brother becomes a priest, what will happen to my father's name? Who will carry on my father's legacy? My father's lineage? Hmm. I feel no matter. This is indeed a worrisome. Yes, it is. <sighs> Obina. Yes, my prince. I'm sure you know I'm in love with your sister. Of course, my prince. The issue is, I do not think she sees me the way I see her. Hold on. As a matter of fact, I've already asked her to marry me. But she has been hanging my heart all this while. My prince, it would be more than an honor to have you as an in-law. But, but you see, that decision will be left for Obi Alonama to decide herself. Obi now that is why I need your help. I want you to help me talk to her. Help me make her love me as much as I love her. You have my word, my prince. I can assure you I will speak to her and something positive will come out of it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my prince. So, how is the seminary? Thank God, it's going well. All right. Obialunama, you cannot marry the king to be. But why? Why did you say so? The things I see, the things the spirit says. The spirit speak doom for the prince. As a king, his days shall be filled with troubles. I, this is so strange and scary. I am scared. His future, his future is neither secured nor assured. If you end up with him, your days shall be filled with untold tears and sorrow. No. I do not want to suffer. I do not want to suffer again in this life. In his arms, untimely death awaits you. Should I heed Ifemo's words? But our predictions are never wrong. The prince, he has a beautiful soul. He is a good man. And sincerely, he will take care of me well. My father, 
What happens to my father's compound if I eventually get married to the prince? My father's name. Are you all right? Sincerely, I am not all right. Let me guess. Matters of the heart. <laughs> Things hmm? are complicated for me right now. See, I met the prince. He really loves you. And he's patiently waiting to have you in his arms as his queen. Obina, that is where the problem lies. That is, that is the problem. How do you mean? If he must speak stone for the prince when he becomes king, and that poses as a threat to me. Obina, my life is not even assured in the palace when I eventually get married to the prince. So, you now take the words of a lunatic idol worshipper over the promises of Jesus Christ? But she knew her predictions are never wrong. She's always right. Listen, that just ignore that witch of a girl. You hear me? She's nothing but a deranged soul. Ignore her. Stop talking about her. Okay, fine. Good. Let's even let us remove Ifemo from the picture. Let us remove her from the equation. Let us pretend she did not say anything. Okay. We've been having thought about our father's name. What will happen to this this compound? You are soon going to be a priest of the Roman Church. Have you ever thought about what, what will happen to our father's name if I eventually get married to the king in waiting? Have you? Anybody home? My prince, the royal one. Welcome. Thank you, beautiful one. How are you today? I am fine. Please sit. Thank you so much. My prince. What do you say to my proposal? My prince, in all honesty, I love you. And I would like to sit beside you as your queen. But but what? What is it? What is this impediment to this our love path? The spirits speak doom for you and this union, if eventually happens. The gods, the gods are on my side. I am the king in waiting. The gods will favor me. But if Fimo has seen it, and she is never wrong in her predictions, the gods forbid this union. 
And what, what will happen to my father's name? What happened to my father's name if I eventually get married to you and my brother becomes a priest? So, what are you saying? I cannot marry you, my prince. You know, you're making a grave mistake. You know, rejecting the king in waiting is not wise. Hope you know.
friend, the king. Oh, oh, oh. Please have a seat. Thank you, father. <sighs> what can I do for you? Father, I came here today because I do not know where else to go. I've been doing business for many years now. But, but nothing is coming out. Father, I want you to pray for me. Is that all? Yes, Father. instructed me not to pray for you. Father, but why? What have I done? You are the only one that can set yourself free. You need to denounce the man-made God your father served. You can't serve two masters at a time. It's either you serve God or you serve idol. Father, all I want is financial freedom and anything I can do to set myself free, I will do it with all my heart. Do away with the idol in your father's compound and you shall be set free. Father, I'm in this. I am finished. Death has finished me. Look, Auntie, you cannot be finished. Never. We are more than conquerors. Hey. Auntie, in any situation, I want you to know that God is still God. I... Mm. Father, why? Why? Why oh, my brother and sister just there like that? They were healthy. Huh? They were healthy. 
They just slumped and died. Who held the children? Yeah, it, it, it is so strange. In situations like this, we, we are tempted to ask God questions. But who are we to question the maker of heaven and earth? Hey. Auntie, please, take heart. God knows the best. He gives life and he takes it whenever he wants. He shouldn't have taken these words. Where do I start again? How do I start? A great comforter is here to comfort you. <laughs> Don't cry. Please. <sighs> Please. I must say that I am so happy and overwhelmed with joy. Huh. After my ordination, I was posted here. I said, ah, what a great opportunity to serve as a priest in the midst of my people, my own people. Say, God is so wonderful. What a lovely coincidence. Wow. Ah, I must do all I can to be a good priest and a good son to you all. <laughs> Honestly, I am so happy that you are the one here. What gladdens my heart the most is that I am one of the key members of the church committee. Uh, and that makes us one big happy family. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I just leverage on this family to work for the progress of our town. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Father, please, please, please forget. Let me be the first to receive your blessings. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you, Father. The peace of the Lord remain with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Ah, thank you, Father. Come on, honey. You're not being fair to yourself. You told you so much. What is it, actually? Leave me alone. Brenda. What you're doing is not fair, my lord. I don't know why it's and I deserve to know what is going on. Leave me alone, a woman. You angry at me. You angry at me because I inquired to know about your welfare. You angry at me. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry I raised my voice at you. It's okay. I know. I'm your wife. And I'm your... I deserve to know what is going on. Talk to me. Talk to me with your family, you know. I will tell you everything. Uh, but for now, I am so famished. You're hungry? Go and fix me something. You're hungry. I'll get you something. I'll, I'll get you something. Was I wrong? Did I make the wrong decision? Obaka is now the king and lives in wealth and affluence. Married to another who is enjoying everything I am supposed to enjoy for free and I rejected it. Of course, you made a terrible mistake. You practically spat sugar the benevolent spirits dropped in your mouth. Do you know what I would have been enjoying now? Okay, now that I'm no longer going to become a priest, Ubaka would have been a great source of help for me. 
she did not make a mistake. Yes, she did not. Not all that glitters is gold. Do not be deceived by the rosy pictures you see today. Doom awaits the king. My king mm -hmm. and my brother. Mm -hmm. You're looking so bothered this morning. What is the problem? I sincerely do not know what is wrong with me. Mm. I cannot pinpoint what the problem is. Well, this is strange. One is worried or cannot find a source of his worries. I think you need a vacation. Vacation? If I live for vacation, who takes charge of my kingdom? Who takes charge of my throne? If you live for vacation, who takes charge of the businesses? <laughs> well, um, I'm here. All I'm suggesting is for you to go for vacation so that you will clear your head. No. That's a very wrong idea. Ah. If I live for vacation, that idiot, that fool who calls himself our brother, <clears throat> Izundo, I think I am no longer serious with the affairs of this kingdom. You know he has been plying his filthy and ugly eyes around his palace. Ah. Well, but uh, he's a priest. He should know he should leave all those things for us now. But he does not see it that way. He doesn't act like a priest. He keeps dipping his filthy hands into our bank accounts. And he keeps withdrawing our money. And he keeps giving the money to the destitutes um, and for charity. Um, 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 the only thing he does around this palace is reducing, lavishing our money. Well, um, Obaka, you should know about, about that. We cannot do anything. All right? We have enough money in our hands, so let's just enjoy. Oh, uh, there comes my beautiful wife. Oh. <laughs> Even just we care. <laughs> this one is so gorgeously dressed. Where are you off to? I need to go see my mom. I hope all is well. I hope she's fine. Everything is fine. Um, you know the weather is so cold these days. <laughs> are you coming back tonight? I can't really tell for sure, but I'll call you up. Mm. It's all right. It's all right. Um, give me one here. <laughs> 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 Hi, my dear. Take, Take care of yourself sir. and be safe. All Take right. care, my dear. Oh, I'll definitely be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, as I was saying, yes. if that fool, Lezundo, is not a priest, that guy would have been a criminal. Mm. He would have been a thief. I'm so tired. I'm really hungry. How have you since yesterday? You have cried enough unto God. And I can assure you that his ears are not shut to hear your prayers and supplications. Father, the whole world is up against us. Everyone around us is dead. Death has left us incapable, Father. Father, the only thing we have is this. Our begging business. Yet, the problems you are passing through does not dispute the fact that God is still God. And he goes about doing good. We need God's goodness. We need his mighty hands in our life. Father, we need help. I may not know your problems, but one thing I am sure is that God is never mocked. He is that same God yesterday, today and forever. He alone can make you two to smile again. Amen, Father. Amen, Father. It's well with you. Cry no more. Cry no more. Cry Thank no you, more. Father. Cry no more. 
داشتم understand the meaning of all these dreams I've been having lately. I don't think these are mere dreams. I think they are revelations. Revelations? What have you been seeing? I need to see Father Izundo. This is not something I can ignore again. Is waiting for you. And uh, who is the person? Hey, please, please let me ask. Your fr friend Fred. Fred? Yes. Let him in. Okay. looking bad at all. You look so wonderfully well. Is this really you? No, it's not me. It's you. <laughs> How have you been, my king? I'm doing so good. I'm doing so well. Where have you been all this while? You suddenly disappeared and no one could get across to you. The also got really hot. And I had to make some moves. <laughs> Okay, Ghana, too, boy. <laughs> Fred, you really need to have some catching up to do. Let us go to the throne room and have some discussions. Okay. Igwe Ozopolo Ini Ego One of Obunike. Of Obunike. Father, forgive me for bringing you out of the parish house. I, I was supposed to have come to the parish house to meet you. And see, you have done nothing wrong. And you don't have to apologize. I should answer your call. You are the mother I see now. Thank you, my son. Thank you. I, I invited you because of the 
the dream I've been having concerning you for a while now is not really a dream. I see it as a revelation. And what is it all about? Your brother, your blood. Please, please don't harm him. Don't harm him. He is your sibling, your blood. He's a priest. Please do not spill the blood of the servant of God. You see this dead body here? It should be thrown into the evil forest. Because that is where abominable carcass like this are meant to be condemned forever. Auntie do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not inform you. Children died. God rest their souls. Amen. I saw you lying unconsciously at the palace. Then I saw your brothers, Obaka and Mwabweze, and another face I couldn't recognize. Doing some kind of ritual over your, your head. God forbid. God forbid indeed. Then again today, I had another dream. Slightly different from the other one. But with the same message. So I got scared. I decided to invite you over. What did you see? <sighs> Father, I saw you lying in state here in this compound here. I was crying. I was weeping. Then I saw your brothers. Obaka and Mwabweze were standing there warning me telling me that our enemy's body will not be buried in this our town. I was scared. I did not understand this. Auntie, I... <sighs> I really thank you for telling me all this. But one thing I will assure you is that my God lives. Amen. He will not let any evil befall me. Amen. I serve a living God. Stop crying. Stop crying. 
He's dead. It's okay. God is in control. Looking so good. You smell of money. You look like you swim in the ocean of wealth and affluence. He goes up, I am managing. <laughs> what nonsense are you talking about? If this is what you call managing, then I. He goes up, I want to manage too. It was a Pauline ego. What I have is not to be measured with what your father, the late king, left for you. The wealth, the money, and most especially the entire kingdom. Fred, things are not as they seem. <laughs> I am empty. I have nothing. I am emotionally and financially drained. Apart from this throne on which I sit on, and this crown on my head, I have nothing left anywhere in this whole wide world. Hey, it was a Polinego, you, the king of this dynasty. Have you forgotten that you took over the throne when your elder brother joined the priesthood, the sole inheritor of King Jonathan's? Dynasty. What are you telling me? Everything is a mirage. A mirage. Things are not as they seem. What are you saying? If everything you are telling me is true, that means you have to do what I told you to do. Fred. What you just asked me to do will have disastrous side effects and consequences on me and on my people. It will bring calamity and doom to this beautiful land of Omunik. Igwe Ozopolo, Ini Ego. I am the living example of the outcome. You know my story. You know how I suffered. I took my destiny with my hands. street. And I made it. Look at me. I am swimming in the ocean of wealth. Fred. Fred, you should have known by now that I, as a Polinego, I sit on the ancestral throne of the sacred and ancestral Obunike kingdom. And as such, I must not soil my hands with human blood. Igwe. Ozopolo, in Eko. A king with no money is a king with no power. I want to ask you, Yukwe, would you die a wretched king? Or would you rather live in wealth and affluence? He that is reign will be heard of an entire Igbo land and beyond. My king. Only newbie or blood dog. Think about it, my king. Baka, you need to stop doing this to yourself. You need to calm down and take things easy. You understand? And uh, moreover, Izundu cannot do anything to us. He has no ulterior motives. 
I have known men and their evil ways. Because the heart of man is evil and desperately wicked. And I will never trust that evil priest who calls himself my brother. Um, but regardless, isn't he still a priest? I will never allow myself to be deceived by that white robe he's under now wears. A self-centered man is a self-centered man. Just need to calm down. Just calm down and relax. Redo in unum deum Patrem omnipotente Pantorem celi etere Visibile um omnium Et invisibili Et imum dominum Jesum Christus, filium Dei unigenitum, et ex patrena apum, ante omnia sepula. What do I do now? How do I help these orphans? They have no one again. They are all alone in this world. The essence of the gospel is to draw men unto God. But while we are doing so, their welfare should be our utmost priority. God, give me direction. Um, Chief of Baleke, my brother, I called you to advise me on an issue. Okay. Oh. Uh, the man and Paul, the oh. two orphans in our parish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know what these two orphans have passed through this past year? Hmm. Honestly, honestly, those. It's so pathetic how they lost virtually everybody in their family. And they have been suffering untold hardship since then. That is the issue. The sufferings they are passing through, I want to lend a helping hand. Eh? Oh, Father, that's so thoughtful of you. That's so nice. I will not, I will equally help the little way I can. You see, um, I am thinking of asking them to come and stay with me here in the parish house. Uh -huh. you know, I don't have any steward here. Feeding won't be an issue for them. Father, is that the best idea? Don't you think their closeness is going to affect your own comfort? Don't you think so? I mean, you, you need some privacy. And anyway, uh, if you feel you can handle their closeness, no problem. It's okay by me. Uh, in terms of their school fees, leave that to me. I will handle it. Chief of Baleke. Thank you so much. You don't need to thank me. We are doing God's work. This is so comforting to hear. Thank you, Father. Thank you. The Lord will bless you. Amen. He will replenish your pocket. Replenish you too. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Um, Izu, we were not actually expecting to see you this week. Not even this month. Yes. Um, but Zindu. Or have you come to check the account of the company with us? No. That's not why I'm here. I am removing you two from the management of the company. What? Hey. Uh, 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 Father Izu, I, I, I do not understand. Please uh, explain very well. Make it explicit. I'll be given each of you 20 million naira and I know if you use it wisely you will make it um but this is Undo. 
seriously i i don't get i don't see the reason why you should remove us in fact if you if you do who would run this company i shouldn't be your worries i am giving everything i have to the church <laughs> your lie isn't though that will not happen that will not happen i will not allow any man born of a woman to strip me of my glory as a king. My name is Igwe Ozopuli Niego, one of Ogunike Kingdom. No one, no one can take that which belongs to me away from me. I have spoken and my word is law. For you two to be great in this life. And as for you, the king, you live at the expense of the kingdom, so you shouldn't be complaining. That is undo. That is undo. That is undo. Hmm. Ah, Father, you're welcome to our house. <laughs> Thank you. Let the peace of the Lord be upon this house. Amen. Amen. Um, Father, we weren't expecting you. Um, Father, let me get you a seat. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. I won't stay long. I'm here to know if you would like to move in and stay with me in the parish house. Jesus Christ, you would do that for us, Father. <laughs> um, I'm your priest and you're my parishioner. So it's my duty to make sure that my parishioners are okay at all times. Father, we are so happy for this. And um, yes, we will come to stay with you. Thank you so much, Father. God will surely reward you for this. Thank you so much. And, um, Father, we will never forget you. And we pray that God will give you more power and grace to do exploits. Amen. Amen. Um, you can move in anytime, even today. Um, well, Father, we can't really move in today. We have to um, arrange our things. So tomorrow we'll come around. Okay, okay. That means tomorrow I should come and pick you up. Ah, uh, no. Father, you don't have to come. You have done enough already. We, we, we'll get to the parish house. It's not a problem. Tomorrow, I'll come and pick you too. Just get ready to move. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank but you so, so much. Thank, thank you, you, Father. So much, Father. <laughs> okay. I'll be on my way. Okay. Hey. Hi, hey. 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 God is good. <laughs> the world indeed is a very wicked place. I cannot believe that my own blood is doing this to me. To even think he's a, he's a priest and he has this kind of heart. Your Highness, to me, I don't really think the priest is being wicked to both of you. What nonsense are you talking about, woman? I mean, he's giving. 20 million Naira each to you. And if you if you ask me, that is enough money or enough money to make a better investment if you manage it well, rather than running the company on his name. Will you keep quiet, woman? Have you forgotten? I am the king of the almighty separate and ancestral Obunke kingdom. And as such, I must have the kind of money that no one can count. Your Highness, I mean 20 million... Keep quiet! And leave my presence immediately! I only... Do, do, do you blame her? What does she know about this family? Zimma, yeah. do you know that I had lost faith that God will never come to our rescue? Hmm. 
But he proved me wrong and showed himself that he is still God. My darling brother, hmm? Father Izundu is the only God that I am seeing right now. God. That man is such a good man. Father Izundu has such a good heart. Father Izundu is a nice person. And we will forever be grateful to him. I mean, look, he came to our rescue when everyone else had abandoned us. Well, for me, all I know is that what we owe him is to be obedient and do our chores well and in time so as not to piss him off. Well, um, the truth is that we can never be disobedient. Exactly. Not to a man like Father exactly. Izundu. He has done so much for us. Let's clean up Father Izundu. Exactly. Let's clean up He's going to be so happy. Um, Dima, I want you to sit for your jam. At least if you make the jam, you'll be able to go to the university. Oh my God, thank you so much, Father. Thank you so much. Um, I, I, I will make inquiries on registration and lesson too. And as for you, Paul, uh, you'll be going back to school. To sit for your senior wife. Oh my God. Father, thank you very much. Thank you. I am so grateful. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see, education is very important in the life of a man. Some parishioners had already indicated interest in paying your school fees. Oh, oh. Father, thank you so much. Father, we are grateful. We will surely you. reward them. Thank Father, thank you. you. Amen. All I want is for both of you to be serious with your studies so that you won't disappoint me. No, 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 what is the dream all about? In that dream, I and Father Izundu were both coming out from the church hall uh -huh. when a young man angrily approached us uh -huh. and pushed Father Izundu. Uh -huh. Not only pushing him, uh -huh. he started accusing him of every sort of crime, he, of every sort of evil. He, I got angry. Uh -huh. I wanted to intervene. Uh -huh. This young man pulled out a gun. The next thing, he cried. He shot my friend. I jumped out of my sleep. Holy Mary, Mother of Jesus. What is the meaning of that dream? Do I know? I'm shocked and confused. Hey. Is, eh? Thank God it is a, just a dream. Please, you have to let Father Izundu to know about this. Yes, yes, I will. Yes. I will. I will. I will yes. see him in time from now. Please, you put out. You better go and see him because you don't have time. You don't have time. Hey, brother. Father, honestly, what I saw got me scared. I was so terrified. That young man came out from nowhere. He started pushing you. As he was pushing you, he was accusing you of all manner of evil. Accusing of all sort of evil. I got angry about it. The next thing he pulled a gun and what I heard was he polite. He shot you. I jumped up from my sleep. Behold, it was a dream. Hmm. Well, uh, I I give God praise for this revelation. Amen. For the fact that he has revealed it to a man, it means that the battle is over. It is fought already. Father, this is true. This is true. But it will not also be out of place if we can take precautionary measures to ensure your safety. Don't worry. The Lord God is my protector. I have nothing to fear. Amen. Amen. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome, Father.
Paul, I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Dima, Dima, I am afraid. Afraid? Afraid of what? I don't really know if I'm fine or sick. But I've been having this strange feeling that something bad, I mean something really bad would happen to Father Izundo. Are you okay? Did you hear what you just said? Dima, I know what I said. Like I said, I don't really know if I'm fine or sick, but this thing has been bothering me. Listen, nothing will happen to Father Isundu. He is a man of God and he is protected by God. Do you understand? I just pray this whole this thing just ends like feelings. I, I, I just pray so. Um, but do you think I should tell Father Isundu about it? Tell him what? No, don't, don't even try it. Please, oh, no, 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 please. Don't even go bothering him with your boring day feelings. Come, let's go inside. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Good morning, Father. How are you? Fine, sir. Um, where is Paul? He's still sleeping. At this time? Um, please, wake him up. Uh, tell him to prepare. I need him to accompany me to the chaplaincy. Okay, Father. Yes. Hi. What kind of a sleep is this? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> he's no longer moving. He's no longer, he's no longer breathing. <sighs> See, Father, let us find a way of taking him to the mortuary immediately. There's no point leaving him here. Hey, Chidema. Chidema, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's my brother. This girl is looking at your face. Eh? She's looking at your face. Oh. Doing this, what do you expect of her? Oh God, 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 oh
you were supposed to help me in calming this girl down. And you're here shedding tears to you. Yes, the boy was full of life. Oh, stop this, stop this. Coming this girl down. Hit him up. No, no, no. No, no. No, it's not okay. If it's not okay, my friend High School is not okay. It's not okay. Father, <laughs> this is um, my little token of uh, appreciation of what you did for me. <laughs> what did I really do to deserve this? Father, your prayers worked miraculously for me. My business grew from strength to strength. Ah, yes. May the name of our Lord be praised forever. Amen. Ah. And, um, <clears throat> Father, this is also for you. A check of five million naira. Yes. All for me. Yes, Father. Who <gasps> may the Lord Almighty replenish your pocket? Amen. You shall never lack. Amen. Ika, a check. Yes, Father. As if you have proof of that, then we we'll start making the preparations. I do not want an elaborate burial. Just interment. Your Highness, if that is your wish. But I think it would have been wise if your brother, Father Isundu, is informed of these plans. Isundu has nothing to do with this burial. What else do you want? You have taken everything. Mabwezi is dead. My wife is gone. But as you can see, I still survived. Isikala can The only thing I have left now. Is this true? This crown on my head? And this kingdom. What more do you want from me? Obaka, no matter what, we are still brothers. I understand the difficult times you're facing, and I am facing one too. But. Bot me no bots, Isundu. Bot me no bots, Mr. Reverend Father. You have sprinkled enough insults and insolence. On my person, I want you to eliminate yourself from this palace immediately. I do not want to set my eyes on an abominable creation like you anymore. Hey. Nothing can separate us. Hmm. We are one blood, and so shall it be till the end of time. Mr. Reverend Father, the bond of brotherhood between you and myself got broken a long time ago. Leave my palace! Leave my palace and never return again. How do you mean? You, you know it will be happening in the king's family. And what is happening in the king's family? The doom predicted by the courts. <laughs> Obelunama, you should be thanking the courts that you listened to their advice. You would have been the one six feet below. <gasps> hey! I am rattled. So you have been right all this while. Only a fool takes the words of the gods as nothing. Uh, 
I don't want this. If I tell you that I am not confused and scared, hmm. I will be lying. How can a healthy young man sleep at night and never wake up? How possible is that? Auntie, I am yet to understand this. Hey. So, what did the autopsy report say? The result is not out yet. We are still waiting in order to ascertain the, 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 the cause of his death. Very scared. Very scared. I don't really know what's going on, but one thing I know is that God will not leave me on this. Amen. I... Igwe Ozopolu Iniego Mbomba. This looks like it. There is no joy here. There is no peace sitting around here. A man who now swims in the ocean of wealth. A man who also sits on the vantage point upon which the gods and the society have bestowed much honor. Such a man but that's not about peace and joy. Of what essence is all this? Igwe, there are things greater than peace and joy. And the greatest of them all is power, economic power, social power, and above all, you have superpowers. If I draw that, I know what you did. I may be poor, but I am not stupid. My in law, what are you talking about? What manner of a man are you? You killed your own brother. You even killed my daughter! Your wife! You go to play, Nego. What is this woman talking about? It's quite obvious that the demise of my wife, her daughter, has gotten hold of her. She's lost it. She's lost it. You have touched the lion's tail! And war you shall get! Your Highness, Your Highness, that woman is... It is indeed a trying time for our parish priests. And as his closest people, we have to give him all the support that he needs now. It is indeed pathetic, all right? That boy has to die now that help finally in this way. Okay. What an irony of life. Life is not under the control of man. Hmm. No one knows the time or date that death will come calling. Yes. It is our duty to live our lives aright. Exactly, my brother. But listen, the watch word is to live for Christ every day. As it stands now, we have to give in fact, increase the support we have been given to our parish priest. And even now, to that bereaved girl, Dima. Yes. You are correct. Uh, for me, I will, continue, I will continue to pay her school fee. I a good man. That's the, the death of her brother cannot put an end to it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody killed my brother! My brother did not die a natural death! <laughs> this aroma does not smell well at all. That woman is going to cause a whole lot of trouble for me. You are nice. That woman will do absolutely nothing. How could you ask me to relax when you were here? 
when she came into this palace, rained abuses and threats on me. I saw the gods, the effrontery, the impetus, and the impudence on her eyes. My king, Igwe Osopolo Iniego, your royal highness, how can you be panicking for nothing? Look at just a male word from, from a woman is making you behave like this. Hey, Igwe, even at that, I do not have to take chances to avert any unforeseen occurrence. Igwe Osopolo Iniego, you have the power in your hands to do and undo. So whatever you say stands. So deal with that woman if you want. He did not. Mm -hmm. Someone killed him. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I seem to use my brother for rituals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what you just said now? Mm -hmm. Listen, let me tell you. It is one thing to say Paul died unnaturally. But for you to rob it on our parish priest is <laughs> something else. My young woman, do you know that you are blatantly accusing a Catholic priest? A priest that is ordained in the order of Melchizedek. <laughs> eh? I stand by my words. Father, you don't do use my brother for rituals. Dima. Dima. You still saying it? I wonder. <laughs> Father, this the man here came to us with a weighty allegation against him. Of course, you normally know that any snake seen by one person is always assumed to be a biter. So, we said that the person is to come is actually Yes. Father, this girl came to us and leveled this allegation, but we never believed her. Oh, yeah. Because it sounds so strange and, and more like a film. You are our son mm -hmm. and our brother too. So this is not what we are known for. Yes. Dima, are you okay? Are you sure you are all right? I am perfectly fine. You, Father Izundu, you used my brother for rituals. You are a blood soccer. Dima, me, me. This is the manifestation <laughs> of my dream. Dima, are you sure what you're saying? <laughs> this is Dima, me, father, you should do. Dima, this is the manifestation <laughs> of my dream. <laughs> Dima. It is very important that you do not make mistake at this moment. It is quite understandable if you stop at this point. We can all say that it is because your brother just died. I am not delusioned. I am sane. I know what I am talking about. That man killed my brother. Oh God. Dima, the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Which includes making false allegations against an anointed man of God. It is all a lie. It is all a lie. He is a false man of God. He is hiding under the anointing to do evil things. Father, his own is an occult. He killed my brother. Nobody is believing me. No problem. <laughs> Emma, I fear for your soul. <laughs> this, it is disastrous. Look, it's still early. You can ask for his forgiveness. Don't allow the devil to trick you into destruction. 
Huh? Huh? I am telling you, Father Izundu, Father Jonathan Izundu killed my brother for rituals. This is the truth I'm telling you, but nobody is believing me. I don't have any parents. I have nobody to fight for me, but Almighty God, Almighty God will listen to my cries. <laughs> Hmm, Father, it is too heavy in my mouth to ask you this question. I can't imagine that we have found ourselves in a situation like this. Exactly. The image of the church and that of the royal family is at stake. Exactly. If this allegation is made public. Hey, Father, we are your close allies. You have to repose your confidence on us. What are you insinuating? Are you saying that I have a hand uh, in the death of Paul or that what they might say is the truth? Uh, no, Father. No, 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 that no, is no, not what no. we're saying. I, Father, what no, we're no. trying to say is a witch cried at night I and... I don't have a hand in Paul's death. Yeah. I can't indulge in anything evil. Yeah. It is only God who called me to serve in his vineyard. Him alone will I serve. Oh. Hey! Oh, my lady, did you hear that? I'm hearing it too. Hey! May God give us the wisdom and direction to walk through this path. Amen. Hey. Amen. Oh. Heaven is my witness. I can't indulge in anything evil. Hi. I just pray this cup will pass me by. Amen. I that it will pass me by. Amen. Indeed. Let it pass. It will pass me by. It will pass. From the autopsy carried out, it shows that there is no foul play in the death of this young man. Hey. No pure illness. Eh? And the submission is that the boy died of natural causes. Hey. Thank God, though, this is a bit comforting. Yes, it is, but this girl will not want to hear us out in any way. What is it? I don't know, Bichi. Listen to me. We cannot overrule that girl's allegation. The image of this church is at stake. Hmm. In fact, the, 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 the name of the entire Catholic community all over the world is in danger hey. if this is not properly thrust out. Hmm. Hey. Did you know? Hey. Sure. This oh. is indeed disheartening. It is indeed disheartening. To say the least, no certain. I, I can't believe that our own parish priest, Paris Hindu, will engage in such an evil act. I don't believe that girl. I believe she's still suffering from the psychological trauma of losing her only surviving brother. Uh, in, in, in that, that. I you. still suggest we investigate this properly and thoroughly too. Hmm. Uh, well, my brother, in as much as I, be, I support you in carrying out a proper investigation, I still think it is uh, needful for us to let the girl the, to understand the medical reports concerning her brother's death. Don't let her understand the medical reports. What did the medical doctor say? And also to make her see the danger of her continued allegation on the man of God. But, uh, because this could bring down the church and we cannot afford that. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Mm. It's true. Dima, why are you doing this to me? Why are you accusing me falsely? Accusing you? No, I am not accusing you. You know I am saying the truth. Why did you kill my brother? Dima, are you sure this is you talking? Oh, enough! Enough of this pretense, father! Enough of this pretense! Say the truth! Go first and tell us why you killed my brother! <laughs> Wicked man! Dima, my brother. Dima, this thing. We have looked into the issue. We want you to understand that one. Father, Izundu here is not just our, only our parish priest, but also an anointed man of God. Yes. 
And also, we want you to understand that such a weighty allegation can damage the fabrics of the church and send the members away. Chidima. Chidima, we need you to stop at this point. Stop for the accusation Please. of the priest. Please. According to the autopsy report, your brother Paul died of natural causes. Oh. The autopsy proves that there is no foul play in the death of her brother. That he died just like every other person. Yes, I mean. huh? Ah, oh, oh God. You people have no idea what you are talking about. You know nothing about this house. I am the one who knows all the occult things that is been happening in this parish. How do you mean? Okay. On several occasions, this parish priest had brought in headless powers, dead headless powers, for us to cook the food we all ate. Am I lying? This is strange. Okay. You heard that. Is that true? That's just one of the many scary things happening in this evil parish. live in the parish house before the priest will be able to help us. Emma, I think it's a very good idea. I mean, if we go to the parish house, we will escape this loneliness. I know. I know that. But living in our house, it will not be easy. Adjusting to a whole new place will not be easy too. But the truth is, we have no better option. I mean, if we get to the parish house, we will be able to eat well instead of staying here to suffer all day. Can't you see? What have you come to do here? Chidema, calm down. 
Calm down. I, I come in peace. No, you did not come in peace. I know you came here to ask me to shut up while my brother still our rooms free. No. No, not at all. Chidima, I've thought over this issue over and over. And I can tell you now that you are saying the truth. You believe me? I believe you seriously. Oh God. Sorry, I'll come down. I have looked at this matter a second time. I have gone to see Father Izundu. I have also spoken with that girl, Chidema. And I can beat my chest here and confirm to you that that girl is saying the truth. Hey! Papaliki did not just say this. I said it, you heard me. But okay, you're not the one saying this. Let me, let, let, let me ask you, is there any same person in this, our parish, that would believe such an ungodly story against our own parish priests and law? Is, it, is there anybody? Uh, <clears throat> a man who we all witness the glory of God in his life. Exactly. Papaliki knew. It's true that we've had our differences in the past with his Hindu. Mm -hmm. It does in the past. Yes. I don't think he has such wicked hearts. Oh, tell him. You see, you, you listen. It is easy for us to be fooled, but me, I'm going to fall. I cannot be, be deceived. Hey. Is it, is it not because he's a priest hmm. and our son that made you believe everything about him? But well, let me tell you. Let me ask you even. Back to the mother. Since she started making that allegation, eh? Has she faltered in her words? Aye. Her consistency in accusing our priest of this disgusting act does not prove that she's saying the truth. You know what she and said? how can you explain the fact that barely 24 hours Paul died? Even for the Zulu who bought himself a brand new Jeep with so much money to throw around. Hey. Do we not all know his priestly allowance, what it is? Or have we all suddenly become uh, billionaires overnight? You, you, you amaze me. Oh, oh, like, eh? At times it beats my imagination and expectation the way you reason. Oh, there you go. This is a young man you know too well. You know his father. Eh? His father, the king, left so much wealth for him before he died. Uh, he knows, he knows. The wealth, he, all of which he gave to charity. Hey, yeah. Opale, 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 Opale. The money and the car was a, was a gift that a, if somebody prayed for, gave to him. Who is that person? Oh, 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 oh. Who is that person? Oh, oh. Let me ask you. Since you know him, who is that person? Kato. Is he a parishioner here? He is not. Must he be a parishioner here? Who is this parishioner? That only, that only him know. Who is he? He's not even a parishioner here. He's not a parishioner here. Forget it. What I know is that his parishioner do is, is, is sound. Forget it. Ah. They didn't believe you. I know they would not believe you. She did not come down. Whether or not they believe me, it doesn't really matter. What matters most is that I believe you. And what difference does that make? What difference does it make? The man is a parish priest. The church will protect him. That man will get away with the murder of my brother. Don't go there, Chidema. It makes a lot of differences. Let me tell you, the church will not protect him. Never. In case you don't know, the church of Jesus Christ does not protect evil. And I, Chief Opaleke, a custodian and a traditionalist of this land will not allow that happen in my presence. Another thing, I am going to write a petition in your name to the bishop, and I believe it is going to yield a good fruit. Did you hear me? <laughs> she didn't must stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Don't start. Oh Lord, that young boy was full of life. 
he had good dreams and I promised to see that dream come to pass. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Father, Father, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paul. How are you? Um, very well, thank you, Father. Um, please sit. Oh. Yes, Father. I want to ask you a question. What do you want to be in the future? Uh, um, Father, I would like to be a civil engineer. I... I have passion for creating an affordable and conducive housing unit and environment for all. Well, that's good. Um, but you know you have to study hard for you to attain such great height in life. Um, yes, Father. I will do my best and all that is expected of me. It's okay. And uh, I will do everything good in my powers as long as heaven and earth remain to make sure your dream comes to pass. Father, Father, thank you very much. I am grateful for everything. Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. Thank you, Father. You're doing a great job. <laughs> thank you, Father. This is normal. <laughs> thank you. So you can't say your voice is <laughs> Father. <laughs> This happen under my care. Why would that boy die right under my roof? Lord help me. I know I have made mistakes, but God have mercy on me. Touch the heart of the man, let her understand the truth. a call from the bishop's secretary yesterday. I've been summoned by the vicar general hey. over this unfounded allegation. Hmm. Has she gone this far? Why must she take such steps? I wonder who's playing this uh, evil music for this ah. girl to be dancing. Has this case reached to the point of vicar general? I just want to inform you all. I, I'll be going to see him today. Before you go to see the Vicar General, I want to ask you something. Be honest with us here. Why did you kill that boy? I did not kill Paul. Hey. Have you also joined in accusing me? Hey. I, have, I, I am not accusing you. But the events leading and preceding the death of that boy calls into question. Your involvement in this whole saga. Huh? Of all people, I least expected this from you. Hey. You know me well. 
Fallait jeune de. If I knew you before, I know you no more. How could you explain the sudden wealth coming your way? The jeep and the check. Let, let me tell you something. For crying out loud, the image of the church and that of the royal household is at stake. Hi. Chief of Alec. Huh? Mm. You must be cautious of what you say. Tell him. Oh. Our priest here is an anointed man of God. Yes. Because I'm telling the truth. So you have to tread consciously in accusing him. Mm. Uh -huh. Of course. Besides, the gift, the car, the money, which our father says he received, was from a parishioner he once prayed for. Oh. I just received an innocent gift from a former parishioner I prayed for oh. when his business was troubled. Oh, really? I know the person who that, that, that parishioner. Uh -huh. No, the person has ever come across that parishioner. Yes, At least if I don't know him, this one's supposed to know. Most I know. And if you don't know, he's supposed to know. No, I don't want to know. You should know everything. You that wants to know everything. Uh, Go ahead and know everything. Know. Must we know everybody that no, worships in our church? I, want to know I am beginning to suspect the two of you. Suspect what? In fact, I am beginning to see two of you on the left side of my eyes. We are seeing you from our own right side of our eyes. Exactly. I want to ask a about you. Open it. No, let's keep seeing each other. Simple truth. Father Isundu. Yes. I have known you for a very long time. From the days in the village down to the days in the seminary, you have always been the outspoken, the smart, and above all, the very humble one. Thank you. But this accusation. This issue, it threatens the very essence of the Catholic teaching. Honestly, this is an unfortunate situation. Tell me, Father Izundo, is there any atom of reality in all these accusations? Uh, I thank God, Father, that you know me so well. I do. All this things, all these accusations about me are all lies. Hmm. The car and the money as well, those are lies too. Uh, Father, I must be honest with you. That I am a priest today is not by my making. It's a call from God. And I cannot deviate from worshipping God to bowing down to man-made gods. And secondly, Father, you know my family. My father was a wealthy man. He, he made so much money before he died. And I took my own share of his wealth to charity. I remember. After doing all this, how can I in turn indulge in evil? Well, Father Isaac, you need to seek the face of the Lord. You need to go to the Lord in prayers. And I believe if you go to the Lord in prayers, everything will be well. I believe so too. It is. It's well. Kidima, if the Vicar General finds him guilty, he will eventually recommend his sack to the bishop and even to Rome. And he will be derobed. Consequently, he will cease to be a priest of the Roman Catholic Church. Is that it? Just that? Ah. What more is more? Sh okay. What again is more shameful than a priest being sent out of the priesthood? I want that man arrested. I want him tried. I want him to pay for killing my brother. Demma, we all want that, but. How are we going to prove this occultic thing in the court? How? So my brother will get no justice after all. That is not what we are saying. It's not. <laughs> she demand. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it's okay. Stop crying. <laughs> Father, 
Father Lord, I come before you in this my helpless state. I have no other place to run. I have no one to go to. You are my fortress, my hiding place. You are my comforter, my God. This allegation has indeed shaken me. Please, Father, give me the grace to pull through. Open the eyes of men to see the truth and come to understand that I am not involved in this. Help clear my name, O oh God. Touch the heart of the man. Let her understand how wrong she has been. God. Father, I have a confession to make, okay, and this involves you directly. Okay. Your boy that died, I killed him. This confession you're making right now will not help me at all. I need you to come to the open and say it. I want me to clear my name from this mess. Father, I I only offended God and you, not the public. And I have confessed to God through you. That is the only thing I can do. Fred, please, I, I implore you in the name of God. Fred, please, you have to come to the open and say it. Let the people know the truth. See, my image and that of the church suffers greatly here. Fred, please, I beg you. I beg you. I am sorry, Father. But that is the only thing I can do. Father. How do you expect me to come out to the world and start telling them that I am a ritualist? I start confessing of all the atrocities I had committed. Father, no. Listen, Fred. Listen and listen good. If you don't come to the open and say it and make the confession publicly, I will get the police involved in this. Father, you and I know that you cannot do that. He, uh, that's not what I mean. I see the, the thing is, Fred, you need to say it so that people will know. I need to clear my name. I'm suffering. He goes only here.
Good day, Father. Good day, Chief of Malika. You, you called me and you sounded so urgent. I hope all is well. Um, Chief of Malika. Huh? Today I heard. Cool, I'm hearing you. Don't worry, I am sorry. I am sorry for dragging you out of your house by this time. Farizundu. You want me to believe that the reason you called me out from my house by this time of the day is to tell me you are sorry? Huh? Or does it mean your conscience has started judging you and you have something to confess? Um, um, like I said, Chief of Malika, I, I sincerely ask for your forgiveness. I am wrong to have dragged you out of your house. Please. Oh. <laughs> Smelling rat. This is more of an insult. Well, as far as I am concerned, as, as far as I know, nobody can drag the name of the Holy Roman Catholic Church in the mud. But the earlier you started confessing, the better for you. What are you doing here? Have you come to kill me like you killed my brother? Dima, I need you to understand that I have no hope. Liar! You are a liar! You are a blood sucker! You are a blood occult member! God is going to punish you! God will surely punish you for what you have done! I've only come here to let you know that God will soon expose the person behind the death of your brother. Then you will know that I am innocent. Oh! Okay, so you finally agree he was killed. You finally agree he was killed. You're beginning to feel guilty. God is going to punish you. You better go and confess or because if you don't confess, you will never find peace. Wicked man. I leave you with a piece of God. You don't have any peace to give me. Get out. You will not find peace with this man. God is going to punish you. My God will punish you. My God will punish you. <laughs> what is happening to this family? Where are all these coming from? Hey! Hey! I am confused as you are. The that is dead. My boy is a two. He's dead. And now the king has gone. What is happening? He's in He's fighting the deadliest battle of his life. Who did we Oh! Oh! Who is fighting us? What is going on? What have we done to warrant all this? All these punishments? What have we done? Hey! God! Come to our aid, though. Huh. We are about to be finished. God has to arise. Rise in His, in his majesty. To come and rescue us. God has to. Father, I was shocked to hear his confession. It marvels me because he gave me the car and the money, and now he confesses to killing Paul. The world is indeed mysterious. I pleaded with him to, to, to come to the open and, and confess, but he refused. Hmm. It is sad, the situation you found yourself. Uh, the only thing you can do now is to pray, come openly and confess. He vehemently refused to confess in the open. I need to clear my name, thereby clearing the image of the church. To know the law is under. You cannot tell anyone. They just pray, confess in the open. He vehemently refused. He bluntly said no to that. Mm. See, Father, our image has been battered here. 
No one can batter the image of God. No one born of man can. Let's leave everything in entirely in the hands of the Lord. Be alone will. I wasn't expecting you back this soon. I have prayed. I have cried to God for directions. My heart only tells me one thing. And which is? The world needs to know the truth. I need to let the world know who the true killer of that boy is. Not only am I accused of his death, those who believe in me need to know that this boy didn't die of a natural cause. Sir, let, let, me, let me ask you one question, Tarazindu. What is more important to you? Is it your name before men or before God? Now, let me say this to you. If you break the code of silence of the confessional you will be severely punished by the church don't forget that we have a code in the church we cannot break it Oh Lord, hear my cry. Set me free from this evil allegation. Touch the heart of this man. Let him come forward and speak the truth. But what if he refuses to come forward? What am I going to do? Dima will forever accuse me of her brother's death. Half of the church population now believes her and the church law forbids me from saying what I have been told to be the truth. The only truth that can clear my name. What am I going to do?
Father, please. Father, please. I am very, very sorry. Father, in fact, I have removed my car. Father, I will come out and confess in public. I am the person that killed Paul. I killed him. Father, please, don't do it to you. Father, Father please. please. You've hurt please. him. Yes. We are sorry for not believing in you all this while. Yes, we don't know you have no hand in whatever happened to Paul. Yes, it's okay, it's okay. Calm yes. down now. We've known the truth now. Yes, Father. We know the truth now. <laughs> we are better informed, Father, please. Father, please. He will confess publicly. He will do public confession. <laughs> Hi. 